Youths have been called upon to join forces and strive for greater achievements. The message was delivered by the Executive Director of Tourism Volunteers Network, Ambassador Phil Roberts, during his homecoming reception in Abuja. Ambassador Roberts embarked on a 30-day trek covering a distance that spanned from the Federal Capital Territory to Kogi, Edo and Delta States before returning to the FCT. The journey commenced on May 20th and concluded on June 21st, 2024. We, we went through a whole lot this one month and it's, we were saved by grace and the love and prayers from our brothers and sisters and our mothers that sent us forth was what kept us alive till we came back. I thank you all for coming to join us in this great, in celebrating this great feat. A big thank you to the Minister of FCT for allowing the FCT Tourism Department to support the FCT Tourism Volunteers Network, which has started in FCT Department and is now a global project um, recognized in the world. A big thank you to the Department of Tourism and my mother in the FCT Tourism Department who has been supporting us in making sure that Tourism Volunteers Network come to life. Representing the Minister of State for FCT, Mrs. Asabe Umar, praised the initiative emphasizing on the importance of focusing on tourism, especially given the current economic challenges. This journey is not just a physical endeavor, but a profound exploration of culture, history, and human spirit. A deliberate mission to showcase the tourism investment potentials of not only the Federal Capital Territory, but also that of other states along the trail. To our courageous soul trekker and his support team, we extend our warmest welcome. Your resilience and passion for adventure has brought you here today. National Coordinator of the Police Campaign Against Cultism and Other Vices, CSP Olabisi Okuobi, highlighted the trek's success as a sign of improved safety on Nigerian roads. As it was going with the groovy pictures, there were some pictures he, he sent that we saw online. We were like, so really, we have places like this in this country. The, another thing he spoke to is the issue of security, that he went, by God's grace, he came back, he met policemen on the road, he went to some command, and nothing happened to him. We can see him live and direct. So that is, that is telling us something, that truly our roads are safe and it can be safer with the collaboration of all of us. Director of the FCT Tourism Department, Mrs. Ann Dogo, who officially welcomed Ambassador Roberts, urged FCT residents to view tourism as a new economic opportunity. We want to make FCT the number one destination in Africa and the most, one of the most preferred destinations in the world, hopefully. We have all that it takes and that is just what we are doing. I would like to let you know that he has just completed the tourism across Niger. Very soon he will come, we will allow him to rest a little bit and he will commence the tourism trek across the FCT. So that we will let the world see what FCT has. Honoring Ambassador Roberts and his team, including various groups that contributed to the initiative. <laughs> 